Oh, we're getting into it now, boys. So, last time I checked in, we had just removed the engine. I went through and hosed out the inside of the engine bay. Cleared out. Eh, I got some stuff still there, but I'm gonna. I need to soap it down. That that clay is sticky stuff. Anyhow, neither here nor there. What we are doing is I have the brake booster out, and that is so that we can relocate it about uh, six hundred thousandths to the well, to our right, but to the actual left of the car. And that will make room for the engine. It's how you use the stock brake booster with an M52 or M50 or S50 swap. And uh, it's just because the engine's a little bit wider at that point there. Oh, as you can tell, it was a little cold this morning. It's starting to warm up, but I've still got the sniffles. Anyhow, one thing... I want to thank BMW for, and if there are any E30 engineers watching this, I owe you like 15 cases of Warsteiner. So that hole up there leads directly to the nut on the brake booster that's hidden by that brake pedal. Everything else is accessible with a socket and a wrench, but yeah, that hole right there is for sticking a socket through and undoing that nut. If this was a General Motors car, if this was a Ford, if this was a Chrysler, you would have to remove probably the entire pedal assembly and the dash and the front seat and God knows what else just to get to that nut. So whoever designed that hole right there is my personal hero. And that's, that's all I have to say about that. Anyhow. So, because we are relocating the brake booster the, and not moving the pedal, this clevis right here is not going to line up with the pedal anymore. So what I have is a second clevis that is identical to that one. And what we're going to do, other side really, oh, is I'm going to cut one of them up and weld this one to that one. I'm going to cut off this whole fork right here, half of this fork here, I think, and that will let me slip this right over the brake pedal and maintain using the stock dirty brake booster. If I didn't, I would have to do something like a, I think, Volkswagen Golf. Golf? Golf? Yeah. A Volkswagen Golf brake booster or a Renault Clio brake booster I hear works well. However, good luck getting that in the United States. There are no Renaults here. Yeah. So, you know, or an IX boost. There, there are about five brake boosters that work with it, but they require extensive modification. And I don't, I'm, I don't feel like doing that. So what I'm going to do, relocate the stock booster. I will drill four holes. Uh, about 610 thousandths of an inch. I don't know what that is in metric, but yeah, about that much. Over to the right and enlarge that finger. Enlarge that hole right there. And then stock brake booster will be usable. How about that? <laughs> 